I am Saitis and welcome back to my channel Saitaker. In today's video, I will try to do the speed test comparison between the IQ7 versus the Realme X1 Max device. So this is the speed test which I am trying to do after the recent software update which I got in the IQ7 device. As you can see, friends, just today I did receive and just yesterday also I did receive the software update in the Realme X1 Max. And a lot of users are really interested to know what is the performance, why is it got improved or not. That is the reason I thought of doing this kind of speed test comparison side by side. So make sure to watch till end of the video, friends, to get to know complete details about this speed test. And thank you for your all and love and support uh, in, in terms of reaching the 70k subscribers right now so it's just more uh, 30k to go for the 1 lakh milestone friends so make sure to hit the subscribe in case if you haven't so first let me try to clear all the background applications so all the background applications are completely clean as you can see at this point and both phones are connected to the same wi-fi network at this point as you can see same kind of wi-fi connection is connected to the both phones as you can clearly see here and i'm trying to use the external ram capabilities in the iq sound device let me try to show you even that so let me try to go to the RAM and storage as you can see friends. So external RAM capability is, is completely turned on. So now let's see with the recent update what will be the speech between both phones. That is what I'm going to check. So let me try to clear this one. So I did include in this kind of testing, there's a small change which I did. So now there's a mixing of games and the applications in the, as you can see friends, in these folders. So this is uh, after every th four applications, I did include the game as you can see clearly. So let's see friends which phone will be storing this kind of uh, applications and the games in the background. This is a unique kind of testing which I did not do before. I did the gaming speed test, I did the application speed test, but I did not do the gaming and application speed test in one video. So that is the reason this video is going to be really special video friends. So try to watch till end to get to know amazing results. So let's get started. First let me try to uh, do the Google Chrome application. Let's see friends which phone will be able to open faster. And both phones are really uh, fast. There's nothing much difference. And next is WhatsApp. WhatsApp slightly IQ7 and instagram sorry i did not press the instagram first so sorry for that yes instagram i think slightly better in the realme x1 max with the dimensity 1200 processor next is the game so this ace force game let's see friends so which phone will be able to open the faster with the login name on the top that is what i'm trying to look at here so let's see so both are kind of loading at this point so they are still loading as you can see right now getting the new gameplay so let's see what will happen and right now i think iq sound did show the logo login id first as you can see friends little bit but not much so just a little bit different but not much so next is the amazon application so i did update the amazon application friends before i did not update this kind of application let's see which phone will be able to open first i think both phones are slightly good in terms of opening the amazon application next is the youtube so youtube also the realme x1 max did load the youtube page first let me need to open the my channel first and let me need to keep in the background so next is the speed test application. I did change the application right now only. Let me try to do the speed test at the same time in both phones using the same Wi-Fi connection. So let's see friends which phone will be able to take much of the Wi-Fi. So right now it's taking in the IQ7 device at this point. So 52 Mbps I did get in the IQ7. That's good, not bad. And 45 Mbps of speeds I'm getting in the Realme X1 Max as well. So right now after this one finished, then it started to increase the speeds. You can observe that thing as well. So I'm trying to keep in the background memory only this kind of speed test. Wi-Fi uh, details. So in the background, I'm trying to keep this application. So let's see friends, this kind of combination of the applications and the games, which phone will be able to having the winner. So this is a 8 GB RAM variant, which I'm trying to use Realme X1 Max. And both are done. And let me try to open the next game, which is a Candy Crush game. So let's see friends, which phone will be able to keep the Candy Crush. Both are open faster, no issues. Calculator, this is a normal calculator I'm trying to keep in the background memory. And the Facebook application, so slightly first in the Realme X1 Max, little bit but not much. Next is another game. So let's see this game, which, which phone will be able to open faster. So IQ7 did open the game faster with the Snapdragon 870 chipset. And next is a Ghana. So in terms of the everyday task, you should know friends which phone uh, behaves good. So right now both are kind of same but slightly best in the Realme X1 Max. Next is uh, Mintra. Mintra as well slightly, little bit faster in the Realme X1 Max, but not much. Paytm, I think first uh, slightly better in the Realme X1 Max, little bit. And next is Zoom, slightly faster in the Realme X, X, X1 Max as well. And next is Flipkart, Flipkart as well slightly. And next is uh, Play Store. So we need to keep something application in the background, this in the background as you can see. Next is Prime Videos. So both did open at the same time, exactly, and Subway Surf. 
So after opening this, all these kind of games and applications, so first in the IQ Sound device, I'll try to go back one by one application. Let's see how many applications and games will be in the background and Clash of Clans. As you can see, friends, total 20 applications, games and uh, everything I did keep in the background as you can see. So now let me try to go back one by one. And Prime Videos, yes, no issues. And Play Store, yes, no issues. Flipkart, no issues. Zoom, it was good. I was waiting for that kind of exact saturation point for both phones. So which can, phone can actually go much faster? I think slightly. IQ7, I did open this kind of home page and I kept, if you remember in the Realme X1 Max, but it showed me the normal page. In the IQ7, it exactly the page I got, this page. So maybe, I think there's a slight ago change, I think so, but not much, but let me try to go, to the, go back to the Ghana. So Ghana slightly fast in the IQ7 device a little bit. And next is Getaway 2. Getaway 2 did not get close friends as you can see. The IQ7 phone, still the game is in the background. It did not get reloaded. And one more thing, 96% of the data is completely filled in the IQ7 device. Yes friends, I did fill the 96% of data. Only 5% is left as you can see. I can see the clear message as well. So this is the one more thing which I thought of just mentioning for you all. Facebook, no issues. Calculator, no problem. And next is a Candy Crush. It did not get close in the IQ7 device. Exactly as you can see friends. So there's no doubt. And next is speed test. A speed test, that's perfect. The IQ7 phone did not close the speed test as it is. And the YouTube, exactly. Same page, same page. Perfect friends in the IQ7 device. You can see the performance as you can see. Wow, that's fantastic. Even the Amazon application also open. Let's see the game. That's amazing friends, even the game is also in the background. You can see, that's not in the Realme X1 Max. I did come up to close to 17, 17 games and applications completely. Let's see the Instagram. And remaining everything should be kind of same. The final is the Google Chrome. Exactly. So the clear winner is the IQ7 device. I'm not even getting words. So initially I did not expect friends this kind of uh, performance. I, I'm not sure, but definitely in terms of the RAM management, extended RAM capabilities, maybe that might be the helping a lot in the IQ7 device. And I thought of not using, but some people that did recommend me to use and test to see this kind of actual performance, what will happen. Because if you get the IQ7 device, ultimately you're gonna use it if you have the option to use it. So this is a quick comparison friends, speed test between both phones and the clear winner in, the in terms of overall RAM management is iq7 smartphone even after 20 applications and sorry 15 applications and five games still the first application is opening as it is exactly wow as you can see friends i can go anywhere i can want i can switch within matter of seconds it's split seconds it's kind of opening as you can see it's fantastic friends as you can see here there's no issues in terms of accessing any kind of games or any applications that's amazing in this phone, that's super. So overall in the Realme X1 Max slightly, a little bit kind of not that great. Maybe only few applications got in the background. So I do know as an average user, you will be using maybe in the background 10 to 15 applications, not the 20, but I just want to push the limits and see which phone is the best. So these are results which we got. And thank you for uh, watching this video friends and make sure to check the links in the description. And in case if you're buying any kind of products from the Amazon, so make sure to check the, use my links, universal link to buy the products. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video friends. Until then stay tuned, bye not see